Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017, and welcome back to Herman Zek. So, uh, let me, let's go to another map. This is easier to see. So we've got uh, potatoes in fields 8, 9, and 10. We planted canola in 12 and 13. We planted wheat in 11, barley in 7, and we're leaving 5 and 6 for sunflower. Everything has been plowed. Yep. Uh, everything has been double fertilized that we can. Yep. And um, I found a bunch of grass that we also fertilized as well. So things are looking good for day one. But we've got to do a couple more things. It's 515, 1715. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop this thing. Uh, where's a good place to drop it? Without clipping through the wall, where's a good place to drop it? Um, let's go right out here. We'll get this put away better later. And really we should, uh, we should wash it before we put it away. So maybe next episode we'll get a sprayer. Get a pressure washer, power washer. All right. This is what I'd like to do. I believe... I believe the Bowser has a lot of water in it because we filled it at the river and we brought it back and did not have enough space. We watered our animals and we didn't have enough space in their troughs to use up everything that was in the Bowser. So it's got a ton of water in it. Let's take that over to the brewery, right? And we're gonna take it with this 500, even though this, at wrong end. Even though this 500 has been working really hard, I feel like the MB track and the Steyr are both a little on the small side for that Bowser when it's full of water. So this is what I would like to do. I'd like to take this over to the, the brewery, the brewery, and empty it. Let's see how full it is first. If it's empty already, then that solves our problem. Because mostly we're looking to get this thing empty yeah, 7,700 liters. Mostly we're looking to get this thing empty without wasting the water. So we'll take it over to the brewery. And then we're going to bring it back empty. We're going to fill up. Well, it won't fill it, but we're going to load this thing with milk from our cows. And we're going to drive it over to the dairy to be homogenized. Which I believe is like the... Uh, like the brewery, you put in your sort of, oh, they're not really raw materials, but you put in materials and it converts it into something that has greater value. So let's go ahead and take this over to, oh, let's go ahead and take this over to the brewery. We'll empty it and we can also see how much beer there is there because at some point there will no longer be room for beer to spawn. When that happens, we'll need to, uh, I don't know, do we want to sell it? Do we want to sell it? I don't know. Or do we want to hoard it and sell it later? Either way, we'll, we'll, uh, now, here's a question. Do we go around? And that flickering you're seeing, yep, we can just go around this way. That flickering, flickering you're seeing is uh, I changed some graphics settings and I have not had time to walk around the entire map yet and get everything reloaded so periodically we will have to load a little bit of scenery and it'll flicker like that so man this is a good looking map it really is I do like it okay so this ought to be easier to get in with the because we had duels on our uh, MB track it was a little bit wide this ought to be ah here we are already so it'd be a little bit easier to get through here and it is holy smokes okay that stuff just keeps stacking up we'll get this thing unloading and then we'll take a look at our tablet I think we're gonna make a fortune from beer I think we're gonna be beer barons you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, set the brake. Let's take a look at our tablet. We have to be outside to do that. Is it uh, control Z? It sure is. How did I remember that? Fabric script, brewery, details. Okay, so we've got a decent amount of water and we've got, this will be our fourth pallet. Let's close this and what is beer going for? And remember, a pallet is 4,000 liters. Beer is going for 3,000 per, per 3,000 euro or 3,000 pounds per thousand liters. So that's 12,000 per pallet. Can that be right? That means we've got, that means we've got close to 50,000 euro of beer and it's not even the end of our first day. Hmm. You know, I do like a map where you make a lot of money, but I also like a map that's challenging. I have to say this map is, I love it, but it's, it's a little different. Uh, the fact that they start you off with all those crops uh, already in the silo. Now, getting out of here, you know, every time I try to back out of here, I clip that rock. So let's see if we can do it better this time. I swear, man, if I clip this rock again, hang up my driver's license. Oh, like a glove. Okay. So we're going to quickly get back to the farm and we're going to load this thing up with milk. It is 100% empty, is it not? It is. Perfect. We'll get back to the farm, we'll load this thing up with milk, and then we need to find the dairy. And we'll also check the tablet before we head to the dairy. As far as I know, all you need to do is take milk over there. That's it. It doesn't require, uh, you know, the compost master requires fuel and... And, uh, or like the brewery requires barley and wheat and uh, water. So as far as I know, the, the dairy just requires milk. Now I also want to take a look when we get there because I'm guessing that there's going to be two sell points or two unload points. One will be to sell raw milk. The other will be to put raw milk in the homogenizer, the pasteurizer, and then the last one will be to pick up the processed milk. I'm going to make my turn in the right place here. To pick up the processed milk and then take it to the cell point. And I'm guessing the cell point for homogenized milk and raw milk is going to be the same, but we'll see. Oh, I take that back. I could be completely wrong because it could be that after we process the milk that it's palletized and not bulk. Okay, okay. So now we need to figure out where to get the milk. And at some point, man, I know I'm gonna come around there and just knock those bales everywhere. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Right. This is a tight map, man. It's tight, it's small. Now. If I were milk, where would I be? Do we have to pull through? Oh, don't hit the tree. I'm gonna leave this right here. Let's see if we can find out where we where we get our milk. Uh, oh, we're on, the, we're on the other side of the barn. Hello, yes. Um, that looks like a pretty likely culprit. So, uh, this is what we'll do. Okay. We'll pull around there, we'll pull up there, then we'll back in there and around there. Yes, that is my plan. So, break off. Throw her in reverse. And go around here. I think we have some milk. I certainly hope we do. We do. I want to say we have a few thousand liters. So I'm going to go over here. All right. Very carefully go over here and then back right around here. Not take out the downspout. Don't take out the downspout. Hmm. 
I wouldn't say perfect. I wouldn't say beautiful, but we got it in there. So, square it up a little bit, make it pretty. Beautiful. We get a hose. Oh, we get a hose. Look at us, man. This is fantastic. Now, while that's loading, where's the dairy? Let's look at our tablet again. Where is the dairy? The dairy is... Okay, so we'll go down, and then across, and then over here. And what does the dairy require? Just milk. It turns it into homogenized milk. Uh, now, if we just wanted to sell milk, where would we do that? Let's look on another menu. If we just wanted to sell milk, where would we do that? Uh, milk, milk, milk. Not seeing it. Not seeing it. No, I don't want to quit. Don't. No, nope, I don't want to quit. Ah. Okay, so... It actually doesn't... Hmm, that's interesting. It doesn't say that anybody buys milk anywhere. It just says we have zero quantity. Okay. Fair enough. Wow, okay, 6,500 6, liters. That's more than a little bit. So let's take this over to get it processed. How are we doing on time? 11 minutes, beautiful. We are flying. So we're gonna take this over, get it started processing, and then we're going to scoop back here, park this Bowser, hop on our farm truck and take either wheat or barley over to the brewery. Well, we won't take it over because it's not here. We'll go pick it up from that other silo near the brewery and drop it off. Okay, so um, can't really see through all these trees carefully. Put the map on. Zoom in a little bit. Can't see anything. Third person. It's killing me. There it is. So we want to go down here. We want to go over. Can such a thing be done? Uh... Not really. We need to go under to get over. Is that right? There's the milk cell. Well, either way, we need to get over to the other side. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. We're going to have to go down through the creek, through the river. Easy, easy. Okay. Okay, so we didn't need to go this way. We could have, we could have gone down and around. Hmm, this map is a little bigger than it seems. It's tight, but it's not. It's not little. Now, does this connect? That's the question. Does this connect? Yep, looks like it must. 
Oh, this is beautiful down here. Wow. Never been to this part of the map. This is fantastic. Okay. It most certainly does connect. So we're good there. Provided we can get up this almighty hill. Okay, okay. There's a lot more to this map than I've been really concentrating down on, on my end down near my farm. Now, uh, let me set the brake and look at my tablet again. Where is this place? No, back. It's at the end of this sort of triangle shaped field. Okay. So where is that triangle shaped field? Uh, looks like... So we want to take a right here. Okay. Wow. This, uh, this map is a lot bigger than it at first seems. Wow. I have not been down here. Okay. We can go first person for this. So now, um... We have to keep going around. Okay. Uh, or we could have gone up that way. Okay. This is making sense, approximately. So now we want to go to the left. And then make another left. Okay. This is huge down here. It seems like, I mean, when you stay on those fields right up by the farm, it seems so tiny, but there's like a whole other end down here. Okay. So we're going to take this left here, and then this will take us around. And we're going to go back a different way just to continue exploring the map a little bit. The big hill crazy frame drop. Oh, we're looking at forest. Okay. Let's, uh, oh. Yeah, we're looking at a ton of trees. There we go. That's better. This is really a beautiful map. Wow. Here's the dairy. Is it open? It is... It is open. Where do we drop off? Raw milk? I'm thinking could mean raw milk. Let's back it up and see. We're also going to need to see, as soon as we start unloading, let's see if we... starts giving us basically money. That means we're selling. Uh, start filling. No, I don't want to fill. Ah, okay. Well, we're not making any money. Okay, so I think we are... We're doing it. set the brake here. While we're down this way, I'm going to set the brake, hop out, take a look around. 
Here's our production. Okay. Now, do these fill or does it palletize? I suspect it palletizes. But we'll find out soon enough. Back in the 5 Series. Put it in gear. Brakes off. Here we go. Let's drive around the back of here. I think then we can just make a left. It's going to be tight, but I think we can make a left under here. And that takes us right back out. Fantastic. So we'll take a, a right out of here. Because we're going back a different way. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to cross over the road that we came up here on. Wow, this is really elaborate. Man. Nice job, Mapmaker. This is crazy. It's like an amusement park. Okay, so we come across here. Carefully. Carefully. We come across here. And then the only way to get back down there is this way. Okay. Okay. And what is this? This looks like just a big field. Or is this a placeable area? Is that to buy that field? That would be field 26. Okay. Don't want to buy field 26. I do want to make this tight turn. And then I think up here we'll take a left. And rather than going under the under the bridge and crossing the river that way, I think we will head over the river instead of through the river and back toward the brewery. Yeah. Okay, that's much simpler. Yeah, this makes sense now. Okay, I, we didn't... We didn't need to do all that. This is our other... Well, I don't know what this is. This is another cell point. Wow, I'm really glad I came down here because I had no idea that all this stuff was here. That's the... That's the brewery. Is it not? No, we're still one... Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we need to be... Ah, I know where we are. Oh, pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Call my... Uh... Call my folks, we'll sort that out. So this is going to take us down through the brewery. So we'll shortcut through here. And from there we're... From there we're loading scenery. From there we're very close to the farm. And we could just... Yep. Okay. So then we go right through here. Yep. Okay. Well, that was exciting. How are we doing on time? 24 minutes. This will be perfect. We're going to grab our farm truck. Come down here and fill it with uh, either wheat or barley and dump it. Now, I do remember the... I don't want to say the trigger at the brewery was problematic because it could be our truck was problematic something was problematic in that interface so yeah you see what I'm saying it was really tricky to find the trigger as we were trying to unload the truck at the brewery so we'll see if we can do it a little easier and a little quicker this time and I apologize for those uh, spikes periodically that is 
that is actually loading textures because I swapped out my graphics settings. It's got to unpack and reload everything. But I'm in a hurry to get these done before the storm hits, so I haven't been... Um, if you walk around the map and let everything sort of preload, you can avoid that. And I've been in a hurry, so I haven't been doing that. All right. Sneak right through there. Can't believe I have not hit those yet. Sneak right through there. Hop in our farm truck. How are we doing on time? Perfect. We're, we're going to have just enough time to make one delivery and then we'll call it. Now, I thought about hauling this down there and filling both of them. But as close as the grain is to the, to the brewery, there's really no reason to. Other than to make my life difficult. And as though nothing ever happened, here we are back again. Okay. Quick trip to the brewery. I don't know what's going on. My system, I have to say, has been acting up a little bit. A little bit. Uh, on several sims. Not on all of them, but on several of them. And not on the most graphically demanding sims either. And that always, uh, I wouldn't say worries me, but perplexes me, I think is a good word for it. Because you would think that it would struggle the most on the, the most demanding sim and and that's not the case so i don't know i don't know um maybe it's time to birthday disc nice thing about ssd is okay that was interesting we just had a uh, bunker silo message up on top man i don't know something's going on something's a little bit screwy but that happens now and then I may need the birthday disk, reinstall my OS. The nice thing about SSD is birthday disk process goes a lot faster than it does on a spinner. So we'll see. We'll see if it comes to that. The other thing is, uh, with this storm coming in, I'm going to be sort of... Uh, I wouldn't say out of commission, but it's possible that I won't be recording for three or four days. That's why I'm trying to get everything done now. And what's funny is, I think I've done a video a day for like six months. And I do record two or three on one day and then take a couple days off. But I've never taken like three or four days off. So it's going to be weird if I finally get some, some time away from recording. Not that I mind it at all. I really enjoy doing this. But it will be funny if I finally take some time away from gaming right because I, I guess think of it from that perspective I've gamed every day for six months uh, I've simmed every day for six months so that's awesome great good for you but uh, to finally get some time off and then that time is really not relaxing time because I'm in a hurricane you know what I'm saying like that's not that's not relaxing that's no way to relax so We'll see, but I am uh, I am really grinding to get these done, and we'll see after everything is done, after everything is into render, and it is cool because I've got my gaming laptop, and then I've got another laptop that I call my utility laptop, good name for it, right, very creative, but once everything is off of the gaming laptop, then it goes into the utility laptop for editing and rendering. I'm just going for it. And when that happens, it will be curious to see uh, if something is going on with the gaming laptop. And if it does need a little maintenance, a little software maintenance. What we put in here? Wheat? Doesn't really matter, I guess. It's either wheat or barley, right? One of the two. 
And we're just going to do this and then call it an episode. We don't need to do both of these. It's, it's an identical process to load wheat and load barley. So I don't think there's any reason to do both. So now we will very carefully go down this hill, this very steep gravel hill. And see if we can find the trigger more easily this time. And what I was trying to say before is, I wouldn't say that the that this truck is problematic, and I wouldn't say that the map is problematic, but occasionally, in fact, the same thing just happened on Lone Oak. Occasionally, you'll just have the placement of a trigger on a vehicle will just not work with the placement of a trigger on. Yep. Like, I can see it. Right now, it's... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So maybe we just need to back into it. Man. So now this is going to be, what, 60 grand worth of beer? And it's not even sunset on day one. Uh, might be a bit of a sandbag map. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, so wheat is at 50%. I'll do it off camera. Let's get turned around here. And look at all our beer. There we go. There's your thumbnail. Folks, thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 2017 from Herman's Eck. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Now.